Hey guys, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today we have one of our members, Reed, in the house. Hey folks, uh, Reed here, back with you at uh, Neri's Kitchen, and uh, I want to take a few minutes to take you through uh, how I prepare couscous. As I mentioned, uh, it's it's a staple in our home. Uh, we like to make a big batch of it. Uh, it sits in the fridge, and you can really add it to any of our meals. We usually have it at lunchtime, or we mix it in with some salads. Uh, but couscous itself, you know what? it can be kind of bland or uh, it's not very creative of a meal. That's when you have to throw in some extra stuff. So what I like to do instead of using boiling some uh, water, I like to uh, throw in some, you know, some Thai chicken uh, broth. It just gives it some nice flavor, you know, the base of it uh, to help with that flavor on it. The other thing I'd, I, I like to do is uh, that I'm going to show you here shortly is to throw whatever you have in the fridge. I mean, this is something you can take, any of the vegetables you have, whatever you be like, onions, red peppers, uh, cucumbers, uh, pea pods, whatever, just cut them up, you know, fry them up quickly for a couple of minutes, throw in uh, some adamame beans as well, and then mix it with your kukos once you're done. And it gives you those vegetables in there, a little bit more color, a little bit more flavor, and it just spices it up a little, and it gives you a little bit more you know, body to that couscous. And, uh, you know, having, a, again, having a uh, Tupperware container in the fridge, it's easy to access, and it's a good way to get your, your carbs for the day. Coming at you here at Neri's Kitchen. Thanks for joining me. And there you guys have it. Thanks, Reed, for joining me on Neri's Kitchen, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.